trying to find solutions to the challenges faced by this small town. Stock theft, killing of farmers and water challenges were top of the agenda. Over the years, residents say they have seen their small town go from an economic thriving one to one that is now run down. One of the reasons behind this? Bad governance. Well, I think that small towns like this have been incredibly neglected and there's a lot of focus on the metropolitan areas. But the real crisis in service delivery is happening in small town South Africa and Lambe municipality is a classic example of that. Roads that are crumbling, uh, infrastructure that's just collapsing on a daily basis and residents who are suffering and bearing the brunt of this, as well as the breakdown of law and order in these small towns where there's not enough police personnel to be able to keep people safe and you're, you're lacking the specialised units, particularly when it comes to rural safety. Those who attend the community meeting say the town is run down and desperately needs government assistance. A biggest challenge for us is first thing waking up in the morning without water. We have to go uh, for days without water. At one stage we had five days without water. And what if there is a fire, a house burn? We have to go to Port Alfred, which is 37 kilometers away, to get water. In that time the house is burned down. Secondly, the crisis with our roads. That's big puddles. We have gravel roads still in our community, gravel roads that is very, very ugly. When it's raining, it's mud. You can't even go out of your house. Why build a, why revamp a place for government departments, but there's nothing, there's no government department in this place, only social development. It's a white elephant. Well, first of all, you know, the changes that is virtually all over the country. Roads are in very bad condition. Um, you know, and then the infrastructure is in very bad condition in, in Lambe and especially in, in uh, Alexandria. Stan Hazen also expresses sadness with the alleged plan to push Nelson Mandlebe Metro with Steve Orendal. It would be a great pity if he's removed because I think finally, for the first time, we start to see some stability again in Nelson Mandela Bay. And it would be really sad if the coalition of corruption was to come in and to unseat that. And I think that voters should be holding those parties accountable that are responsible for the destabilization of these metros. Nobody wins when a metropolitan municipality is in a state of chaos. And we've got to focus on stabilizing those municipalities. Um, I think that voters need to be very careful about how they vote in, in these municipalities and make sure that they're giving at least one party a very strong, stable, anchoring position in that municipality. Stan Hazen will visit other small towns in this municipality. Lerato Fekisi, SABC News, Alexandria.